agricultural mowing, and you're going to see basal roots that come. It might be effective for some species if you're doing, say, for instance, control burns, but I don't believe in cow repair it's going to be very effective. It's probably also because of the shading. Unless you've got some invasives growing around it, you're not going to really see an awful lot of uh, potential fuel for getting a lot of fire. This is a small seedling that I think is two years old. Now, if you look at this and you know this is the soil level, we know with some of our invasives, like bush honeysuckle, we can pull it, pull it up. But I guarantee you, if you were to here try to pull this plant up, I didn't get the complete root system from this. that's probably five feet or less and you can get over top of it you can spray the foliage to wetting we're finding there's a lot of different chemicals that you can still buy there's a glyphosate there's a triclopyr there is a picloram there are some materials like tordon or garlon that you can purchase or roundup that can be effective on small trees but just remember when you're trying to spray a tree if you use a glyphosate it'll kill everything else around it so if you're trying to control this and it's surrounded by other desirable trees, foliage may be difficult if you're just going to get it on because you really have to keep it right on the tree. When the trees get larger, what you could potentially do is apply a basal herbicide. This is usually put in as a concentrated material, 2 to 40 percent, put it in a dilute oil that's got some color, and you can put it in a squirt bottle and you can squirt it around the lower 18 inches of the tree and you can get a lot of good control there. The third way you can do it is you can actually take and you can cut it off, do a cut stump application. I don't think I have my material here anymore, it's probably over there, but you need to treat the cambium tissue. That's the living part of the tree within about a half inch of the edge surrounding all the way. You could cut it, you really need to get that herbicide on there within about 30 minutes after you've cut it or you'll start to see the wound heal. But there's a number of different compounds that we can also use in that type of application to try to kill cow repair. The real critical thing is it's not the first year you treat it, it's the following year when you have to come back. Because this really proliferates from the root system, if you kill the top growth you might stimulate root buds to actually come up so you have to keep an eye on it the following year. It's not just the first year, it's the following year that's important. Okay. All right, I think I've covered most of what I wanted to say, and now I'm going to introduce Brett. So he's going to come up, leave him a few minutes. Thank you for your time.